What's going on guys? This is the next part in my Bash tutorial series and today we're going to be talking about math or more specifically how to do arithmetic math in Bash. So that's going to be addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So I have this script here where I'll be showing you those math concepts. Now what trips a lot of people up at first is they think that they can just use echo to do math. So when people are first learning Bash, they'll think that they can just echo one plus one, and then that'll print out one plus one to the screen. But that's not exactly what's going to happen because echo is meant to handle strings by default. And if I go ahead and run this command here, or run this script rather, math.sh, you see that it echoes out the literal string one plus one instead of echoing out the result of one plus one. So we can't really use echo, or at least we can't use echo formatted this way in order to do math. What we need to use instead is expr, which stands for expression. So the expression command and as you can see, it's even formatted differently. The plus isn't getting treated as a string. We'll actually read this one as an integer, this plus as an operator, and then this one as another integer. So if I were to run this now, you see that the output onto the screen is indeed two instead of one plus one like we had back up here with echo. And of course, we can do other types of math with EXPR. We can also do subtraction. So we'll do three minus one, and you see that it makes it one, or three minus two rather, makes it one. And we can also set variables to be equal to the result of our calculation. So I've got that all down here, where you can see how we format it to make this variable add result be equal to the result of 20 plus eight and subtraction result is 20 minus eight. And with multiplication, we have to add this character right in front of the asterisk because the asterisk, as you know from my previous videos, is also used as a wildcard character. But if you want to use the asterisk for multiplication, like how most programming languages use it, you have to escape it so that Bash, when it's reading this, knows that you're not using this asterisk to refer to some character that you didn't want to fill out. You're actually using it as a mathematical operator. And then of course, division result, and this is remainder. So this, well, this is actually the modulus division um, operator. And what that is going to do is it's going to give us the remainder from doing a division. So REM result is going to be equal to whatever the remainder is from dividing 20 by five. Let me go ahead and uncomment this stuff down here so that it can actually echo the results out. So the way that I have it formatted is it's just going to print out this short string to make everything look nice and neat. And then it's going to have the actual variable echoed at the end of these strings. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. And of course, you can see if you wanted to do the math on your own in your head or even with a calculator. Hopefully you don't need a calculator to do this because it's pretty easy. But you see that it does indeed do all of the math correctly. Now, like I said, there is another way that we can echo out all of these without necessarily using EXPR. We just have to format our echo commands a little bit differently. So you see the way that I have it formatted here with the dollar sign and then the double parentheses. 
And of course up here is where I define my variables. So num1 is gonna be equal to 50, num2 is gonna be equal to 10. And so down here we're doing the same thing where we add, subtract, and multiply. Now in this case, when we're doing echo, we don't have to escape the asterisk character. We only have to escape the asterisk character when we're doing EXPR. And I think there's some other commands that aren't really relevant to math, but just other commands where you do have to escape the asterisk to prevent Bash from getting confused and thinking that it's um, a wild card instead. But like I said, with Echo, we don't have to do that. So I'll go ahead and write this so that you can see the results of all of this math as well. And you see that indeed everything does evaluate correctly when we format our echo commands and do the math inside of these double parentheses. Now, so far, what I've shown you guys is how to do math with integers. But you may have been wondering, how do I do math with floating point numbers? Well, it's a little bit different because by default, Bash doesn't really know what to do with decimal numbers. At least it doesn't know what to do with decimal numbers when you're using expression or echo. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that for you with this. So we want to add 0.5 to 20, which should evaluate to 20.5. But when I go to run it, it evaluates to an error. So we get EXPR non-integer argument, which basically is just EXPR saying, hey man, you sent me something that is not an integer and I don't know what to do with it. Now, it's not impossible to do floating point operations using Bash. You just have to call on another program, which in this case is BC. BC stands for basic calculator. And the way that you would do math with BC is you can echo out the math that you want to do, but pipe it into BC. Now, if you're not sure how pipes work, I would recommend that you go back and watch the video that I uploaded right before this because I went in depth and explained how pipes work there, but basically a pipe is just something that sends the output of one command as the input to another command. So in this case, where instead of echoing this to standard output, we're just sending it as input to our BC command. So I can go ahead and run this script now, and you'll see that it prints out 20.9, which is indeed, the correct result of 20.5 plus 0.4. Now, when we do division, oh, let me go ahead and fix this properly. Now, when we do division, it doesn't work properly, at least not without us doing a little bit of extra work to BC to interpret it correctly. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to try to divide 20.5 by five, which um, I'm not really sure what that should evaluate to. My, my math is not that good. Let's see, 20.5 divided by five, yeah, it's supposed to be 4.1. But as you'll see, it's not going to actually evaluate to 4.1. It's going to evaluate to four. Now. This is kind of weird, you know, what happened? Why doesn't BC give us the decimal? It did the decimal up here. Well, that's because we're doing division. So BC is going to not do your division correctly if you give it a floating point number, unless you do some type of formatting to it to tell BC how to handle that decimal output. Now, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. We could, just add the hyphen L switch to BC. This is probably the simplest way to make it work as far as the amount of syntax you have to type, but this probably won't be what you want in a lot of cases, and I'll show you why. So I'll go ahead and write that and then run this. 
So you see that 20.5 divided by 5 evaluates to 4.1000000 and so on, all the way to, I'm too lazy to count all these zeros, but that's probably like the trillionth or the hundred trillionth decimal place, which unless you're dealing with, I don't know, maybe some type of atom sizes or something that's really, really small, you're probably not going to ever want decimals going out to the trillionths or quadrillionths, however many spaces this actually is. Um, I know in my experience, typically when I have to work with floating point numbers, I'm only going to the hundredth place, you know, especially if I'm making, like I remember I made some projects in school where it's like a fake bank account type deal. So when you're dealing with money, you only wanna go to the hundredth place and not whatever this place is. So we can do custom formatting for the specific amount of decimal places by using scale. So that's what I've got on this line here. We set scale equal to two, which means that it's going to print out to the second decimal place. And then we put the semicolon here, and then we continue on with doing the math the same way that we did up here. And then we pipe it into BC. So now I'll show you that this evaluates to 4.10. And if we wanted to change the amount of decimals we have, all we have to do is change this integer here after scale equals to whatever we want it to be. So say if we want it to be three, we can change it to that and then run our script again. And it does 4.100 instead of 4.10. All right, so this is all of the basics about how to do math in Bash. Hope you guys found this video useful. Leave a comment below if there's any questions you have about this that I didn't cover here in this video. And be sure to share it with some friends who you think would find it useful. Peace out, guys.